the San Antonio Spurs kill it this offseason, or is your thought, Spurs fans, you blew it! I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Caught this article from Air Alamo doing an off-season report card for our Spurs. And I started reading it, and I got to page two, and I thought, you know what? Instead of just reading this and kind of giving their grades, why not do kind of a, uh, an instant reaction, my thoughts, my grades, before seeing their grades? And more importantly, get your thoughts, Spurs fans. Drop a comment down below, your thought on any of these particular off-season moves. Hit the thumbs up if you like to support the channel, and subscribe for more Spurs content. So, I spoiler, I know the first one, and they do mention... Also, in the interest of fairness, that they gave out five A's, three B's, and two C's. I don't know to where. The first one's a pretty easy one, though. As we get into the article, the first offseason move was drafting Victor Wambayama. That's an A. I know they also gave it an A. I mean, can you give... If we drafted anybody else, it would have been probably a D or an F. But this was a clear one. The Spurs got an A. And then when I got to page two Spurs fans, that's when I stopped and I thought... I need, you know, I need to do a reaction to this. So re-signing Trey Jones. Two years, just under $20 million. I like the move. You guys know I don't think Trey Jones is our long-term point guard. Hope he proves me wrong. I sincerely do. That being said, he's certainly a good stopgap, and I do think he's going to be an excellent backup point guard in the NBA. Again, prove me wrong. Maybe be a starter. I like this move, so I'm also going to give this I'm going to give this an A. I don't know if they want pluses and minus, you know, B plus, A minus, A, whatever. So I think we're just going with a grade without any minuses or pluses. For this one, I'm giving an A. I think this was a great move. Got him on the, what I thought was going to be much cheaper than, I, than originally. I figured maybe $15 million or might be a, a, yeah, they gave it an A. I agree, Spurs fans, whether you're a fan of Trey Jones or not, getting him for that price for that long, I like it. And if he turns out to be the guy, maybe give him a contract extension. Greg Popovich extension. Spurs signed head coach Greg Popovich to a five-year, $80 million contract extension. That's a lot of money. Actually, they say right here, too, $16 million per season is an extravagant amount of money to spend on a coach. Greg Popovich is at the very top of the list of the greatest head coaches in basketball history. Pop means more to San Antonio than any head coach in the league means to their team. Did we overpay, though? The Spurs haven't won in a while. Yes, he's got five championships and six NBA Finals appearances under his belt. I'm being a little critical right here now. Also, the age, you know what? You guys might not like me for this. The age is concerned. He's going to be, what, 80 at the end of this contract? I'm going to give this a B. Sorry, no an A. I'm going to give this a B. What they give it? They probably give it an A. They give it an A minus. What the hell? So we are. Apparently, we are doing pluses and minuses. So I would have given this a B plus. I don't think it's an A, but a B plus. The Trey Jones, I give that a straight A. Wemby, straight A. I don't think we're going to do A pluses in this scenario. So A minus on B plus. So we're kind of on the same page there. The age is the biggest concern. But you know what? Hope I'm wrong. Hope the Spurs have a championship or two before that five years is up. Don't crucify me in the comments, please. Reggie Bullock trade is part of a three-team trade. They added, added Reggie Bullock in 2030 first-round pick swap from the Dallas Mavericks. I don't think he's going to play a game with the Spurs. Um, I, maybe he will. I get why they did this. That first-round pick swap could be huge with Dallas if, no offense if any Dallas Mavericks fans are watching this, if somehow things don't work out with Luka Doncic and he's gone by then and the, the Dallas Mavericks are in a rebuild and we're a championship-type quality team. That could be a huge pick, a huge swap way out into the future. I, I, I like the trade. I'm kind of where I was with the pop move. I think this is, let's give it a B. I'm going to give it a B. I'm going to straight B on this one. A minus. All right, TSR is apparently very critical of the Spurs moves on his channel. I'll send the next one. Resigning Dominic Barlow. You guys know I'm a fan of this move. Like him being with the Spurs. Like what I saw in Summer League. We're going an A on this one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A minus. Okay. There we go. I went higher. See? See, it is possible. TSR can be happy about something happening. The campaign trade. Cam, Cameron Payne trade. And this one intrigues me because I wonder if he is going to possibly try to steal starters minutes away from Trey Jones. Will the Spurs go with the hot hand in the moment? If Payne's playing well, is he starting? If Jones is playing well, is he starting? Is it going to be point guard by committee? I thought this was a pretty good move. Traded heavily protected second round pick to Phoenix for point guard Cameron Payne in 2025 second in some cash. 
at the very least, you know, maybe we give him some minutes. He plays very well. Other teams catch him playing well, and then he becomes a valuable trade asset for us before the end of the year, or IE before the trade deadline. So I like this move. I'm going to go A minus. We need a point guard. You know, they say right here, despite them seeing me with Massey for point guard. And actually, I think the Suns actually need a point guard, don't they? Not us, per se. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. I'm going to go A minus. I actually, I, I think this is a good move. I think. This could work out well for they give it a B plus. See, I'm higher again, Spurs fans. I'm higher. That's right. TSR turned into positive TSR. Resigning Julian Champagne. You know all the way, all the day, all the Spurs, whatever I'm trying to say. We going A on that. Four years, 12 million. This man tore it up in Summer League and played well at the end of last season. Love, love, love this move. We going A. B plus? You kidding me? That's an A. I disagree wholeheartedly with that one, y'all. That's an A. Come on. Come on, shum on, Lee. Shum on. Traded for Osman and Stevens as part of three-team trade. We added Chetty Osman, Lamar Stevens, the second round pick. We've already waived Lamar Stevens. Thank you for being a spur. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got players off of this. Osman can be one of those players similar to Cameron Payne that has good trade value by the time it's up. And we don't think we really give up anything, did we? Did we give like a second round pick for this? I think this is a good one. I like this, you know, I like this trade. I'm going to lead towards an A-. minus. Leave it a B. Okay. I can see that, too. I see the argument. How many more of these we got? <laughs> Good, good. Two, a couple more pins. Drafting City Sissoko with the 44th pick. The G League Unite wing, who, granted, had some issues early in the summer league, had some fouling issues, couldn't put the ball in the hoop, but there was a lot of potential there. This is an A. Don't you dare drop a C on City. Just go to the next one. Traded Leonard Miller. Leonard Miller. Now, I know a lot of you were not happy with that one. Traded 33rd pick in the 2023 draft. Used on Julian Knight for Leonard Miller to the Minnesota Timberwolves for two 2028 second round picks. We have another two-way contract spot open. I was not really thrilled about that. I actually give this one a C. I agree, C minus. Yeah, you guys didn't like this one. I didn't either. Uh, no, not was not a fan of that move. Oh, and their full offseason report card and overall grade. All right, so my overall grade for the Spurs this offseason, drum roll. I, you know. I think I'm just going to give it an A. A minus. Near perfection. Obviously, I gave some th there's some things that I did wasn't crazy about. So I'm going to give it an A minus, which is damn good for an off season. So uh, there's the overall grades. And what they give us? Over off season grade. Now I remove. Now, da, 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 da. A minus. All right. Spurs fans, your thoughts. What would you give the Spurs overall as an off season grade? A minus. A. Were you not happy with some of the moves? Would you actually put it somewhere lower in the Bs? And any particular moves that you really liked or really did not like? City Sissoko, Sissoko did you not like the move as much as Air, like Air Alamo? Were you kind of neutral on that move and you're like, I don't really see the potential there. That's more of a C. Would you give it a D? Or are you like me? Like, hey, I really like that move. Give it an A. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to talk about this and do kind of a reaction grade, whatever, something a little different. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Interesting to hear what your thoughts are. Thank you all for tuning in. And as always, go Spurs go. I feel like this, I'm immortal When I feel like this, I'm immortal